This is the ID Vision, which is the fourth member of the ID family. So the ID uh, brand, as it were, is what we're calling our autonomous and fully autonomous vehicles that are also based on the MEB modular electric platform. So the idea behind the vision is it's our idea of what a car could be for say 2030. We've already announced that the ID family will be fully autonomous, level 5 ready by 2025. And some of the cars, like the ID Buzz just over there, they actually have a retractable steering wheel. So when the steering wheel goes into the dash, you're driving autonomously. This one doesn't have pedals, it doesn't have a dashboard, it doesn't have a steering wheel, so it is fully level 5 autonomous. And that basically means that the car drives by itself with no input from a human being. Um, and that, you know, it's, it's a vision of the future basically because we don't have in the States yet the infrastructure that would enable us to do that. But obviously autonomy is very important for the future because it enables a world where you probably wouldn't have any accidents. Autonomous car is great because it allows people who don't have mobility at the moment, so people who are visually impaired or kids or old people can actually get in a vehicle and get from place to place. If you go drinking too much at night, the car will take you home. And if you're texting, well that's part of the deal. So the whole point about mobility is it becomes available to more people. And the other thing is that, you know, instead of being stuck in traffic, the cars all drive autonomously, they'll react to each other, traffic flows much better, but you'll be able to work while you're on the way to work. Part of the thing about AI is that you need some machine learning, so as the vehicles progress, you need to be able to distinguish, say, between a, a bicyclist or a pedestrian, and you have to learn what pedestrians are doing as well, because when a pedestrian sees a car coming and they're not on a, a pedestrian crossing, they might go forward and then come back. So you have to be able to learn as a machine what the human beings are going to do so they're predictable. One of the things that's key about this car particularly, um, if you look at the front end of an electric car, you can have a completely different uh, look at the front because you don't need all of the vents and the grills and everything. But one of the things about this car is, unlike the bus and the other ID cars, it doesn't have the LiDAR sensors coming out of the top of the car because we think that by 2030, they'll be much better integrated into the vehicle. So, another feature of all of our ID cars is we have a light signature. So, again, you'll be able to convey what the car's doing to people outside. So, for instance, if the vehicle recognizes a pedestrian, it can actually wink at it using the headlights. One of the show car features of this car is it has what have been traditionally called suicide doors. Um, but if you look at the interior, and I think this is key, there is no dashboard. Um, all of the interaction with the vehicle, there are some control interfaces like that um, rotary control, but what's more key is actually it really does interact with the vehicle via voice and gesture control. That's kind of the key feature of the car. It reacts to you, um, so you can tell it to pick you up at a certain place and it will come and it will stop and it will pick you up based on voice and uh, voice and human uh, interaction basically or re recognition features so 2022 there'll be a production version of the id vision but this one will have a steering wheel and pedals that will retract to be fully autonomous and basically the id family is going to go into production 2019 with what we call the id which is golf sized on the outside for the us the first one we'll get is the id cross which is a, an suv same size as the tig one on the outside and the size of a Tuareg on the inside. And then 2022, we'll get the buzz, the reincarnation of the minibus, which is behind us on the stand.